A sister says, I know we must maintain ties of kinship, but what if these relatives are very bad and they only create conflicts and harm us? Is it still mandatory to maintain ties with them or we can break to save ourselves from further harm and mental torture? First of all, the Prophet ﷺ had told us that it is one of the major sins to cut your kinship, ties of kinship, to sever your kinship. Allah Azza wa Jal made this associated with corruption on earth. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, the one who severs his kinship will not be admitted to Jannah, to paradise. So it is a major sin. Now, if someone is kind and nice to you, by default, you will be kind and nice to him. And there's no testing in that. The real test is when there is hardship, when they are rude, when they're not communicating to you. This is when you test it and when you pass the test. If you treat them likewise, then you are as bad as they are and you are as sinful as they are. But if you excel in elevate yourself to the level of that companion who came to the Prophet and said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I have relatives of mine, my kinship. I'm kind to them and they're evil to me. I connect them and they sever my kinship. I tolerate them and they do bad things. So should I continue to connect my kinship? The Prophet said والسلام, to him, if you are as you have truly described yourself to be, you are blowing ashes in their faces with your kindness. And there will remain with you an angel defending you against them. So the Prophet is highlighting that you must not cut or sever your kinship even if they're bad to you. Now, having said that, you don't have to go to both extremes. You don't have to cut them off entirely as if they're not related to you, nor be with them 24-7. You have to maintain the minimal possible amount or level of connectivity. So calling them once every few weeks, once a month, seeing them for a few minutes during the Eid or in marriages or in, in invitations, this is something that you have to live with. You cannot live with someone or expect to live with people who are always kind and nice and loving and caring. Your fingers are not of the same length. So you should expect that people as well are not to be all alike. And this is part of your testing. May Allah make it easy for all of us.